Hello everyone, Gil Solano here, and welcome back to yet another weekly neurodiagnostics discussion video where today we'll be going over absent seizures. Absent seizures typically occur in children four years and older and who often have a family history of them. Typical absent seizures are associated with an interruption of normal brain activity, and due to a moderate impairment of consciousness, the patient is unable to see or hear. There is usually a blank facial expression that actually contradicts the frequently used term staring spells. Rhythmical beating of the eyelids is very common and may indeed be the only motor manifestation of the attack and is often called absence with eyelid myoclonia. The most common medications used for absence seizures are Xerontin, Depakine, and Lamictal. When performing an EEG on a child suspected of having absence seizures, hyperventilation is an extremely useful tool to activate this epilepsy. The video you're seeing now is from Dr. Sachin Mirage and is a great demonstration of how hyperventilation can be done and actually catches an absence episode. As you can imagine, it's extremely useful to catch these on an EEG. Speaking of EEG, the ictal EEG of the absence is characterized by generalized and synchronous 3 per second spike and wave discharge and is maximal over the frontal midline. This pattern may start at a rate of around 4 per second and quickly slow down to 3 to 3.5 3 per seconds, eventually slowing down to 2.5 seconds in the final phase of the attack. Both onset and termination of this pattern is abrupt and is likely to show normal EEG moments before and after the event. These events typically last 10 to 15 seconds. And there you have it folks, that concludes our very short discussion on absence seizures. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.